Hey, welcome back to the Choice Podcast. You have all of us, Ralph, yep. Vicky, Aubrey. Aubrey, and me, RJ. What's my name? <laughs> Vicky. Mm. Oh, is that what you call me now? It's mom. No. It's mom. Okay, well, just I figured, checking. I figured I'm I should probably say I was just checking. It sounded weird for him to call us Ralph and Vicky. Well, <laughs> okay, <grounded>. anyways. <laughs> okay. What am I supposed so, to do? So, go on. We're getting better at this, I think. I think so. Probably I not. But Another okay. spontaneous mm-hmm. podcast. Mm-hmm. Podcast. Why not, right? Yep. They throw you, this they at They don't us. let us know no. anything. They're like, oh, by the way, this afternoon we're going to film a podcast. We're like... Okay, okay, we're getting ready to leave, but okay. Yeah, no, well, we're, we're just talking packing. about that. That's so, kind of what this uh, conversation, this podcast is. Okay, we're, we're jumping right into it, and um, we're talking again, kind of like last month, about going into the fall, maybe spring, summer, all those hunts, getting ready, what we have planned. Kind of okay. more about what our fall is looking like, because we have a little bit of a busy fall this year. A little okay. bit, yeah. a little bit, yeah. So let's Crazy. go ahead and start. Where are we going? <laughs> Um, this fall, we're going... All right, now so wait, we're, we're not bragging. We're, we're not boasting. We're, we're just... No. We've no. got a busy schedule because it opened up. There's so no more 2023 moves. totally changed everything. The beginning of the year, everything seemed to have just disappeared. Yeah. And until something else is created, I mean, unless yeah. something else comes around and everything gets shut down Don't again. Don't go down rabbit holes. Sorry, I'll get back up out of that rabbit hole. But anyways... We feel good. Our schedule's gone oh, back to normal. Normal travel. And it sounds a little crazier than normal if I tell you everything and everywhere we're going, only because there's four of us doing it instead yeah. of just the two of us. So there's a couple added hunts in there that aren't us, but it's yeah. y'all. We'll be all over the place. So yeah. Y'all? Y'all. 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 We'll y'all. Have, well, we head off to Saskatchewan. You guys are going for a bear hunt. Right. Yep. Saskatchewan in yep. four days. Yep. We'll be up yep. there. Then right after that, we get back and we have a day turnaround. Yeah. And we're heading to South Africa with yes. Fricky. With Fricky. Yep. And that's going to be awesome. It'll be Aubrey and Eddie's first time yeah. over there. Out of the country for me. First time first, out of the country. Oh, yeah. First well, time Eddie out of the was country. the first time yeah. Eddie went out of the country was like when we went to British Columbia <laughs> yeah. just a couple mm-hmm. weeks ago. Yeah. So now Eddie's going to go to Saskatchewan with us for our big bears way up mm-hmm. north, northern, northern, northern Saskatchewan. And then we, seriously, like you just said, we come home for a day. And then we head out we to South Aubrey, Africa with head, Fricky and pick up Aubrey and basically head out. And um, so you guys got to be ready for that long 15-hour flight. <laughs> in cargo. It's going to be cr- in It'll cargo. Be yeah. yeah, we'll be bouncing around on all yeah. the But that luggage. trip so that trip is going to be fun because, I mean, Ralph, you and I, we've been to Africa a bunch. Like five or six times, something <laughs> like that. And um, we've hunted a whole bunch of stuff down there. Yes. We really have. And RJ, you've been down there once. Mm-hmm. But this time, Fricky has asked us to go down there. Um, so you shot your very first Cape Buffalo with your Hoyt, or with in your bow 93. in 93 on our honeymoon. Yes, long, long time ago. <laughs> and then in 2014, we went back and I shot my Cape Buffalo with my Hoyt with Fricky. Yep. And then last year he Fricky told- said, hey, you need to bring RJ. It's, it's time. Mm-hmm. So, so RJ's been setting crazy. up his bow. His bow's over 80 pounds. He yeah. has been practicing, practicing, practicing. So the whole trip yes. is actually going around your buffalo hunt. I feel special. You feel should feel, should. feel special. You should feel it's special. Crazy. But it at is. the I same time, we're pretty excited because like all of you guys, you, Aubrey and Eddie and you and us going back down there. And it's just the experiences that with we all Fricky. get to share together with Fricky yep, and, and, and his family. And the family. I mean, yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. I mean, it's, it's going to have, a, it's going to be a blast. We're, who knows what's going to happen down there? Mm-hmm. We don't know. So then. So then we come back. Yeah. And then we're home for a little bit. A little bit. And then it all goes crazy. Because then right. fall, fall kicks well, full force. We yep. got antelope early. Antelope early. Yep. Yep, in, in August we have yep, antelope. With Scott and Angie, we're yep, going there. Table Mountain. Uh-huh. Uh huh. And then <laughs> we'll, we'll archery hunt for elk here in Colorado. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, except for that before all that happens, he heads up to BC. Yeah. Oh, oh that's yeah, right, in August still. Go yeah. For a mountain yep. goat hunt. Yep. Let's go to mountain goat. Yeah, <sighs> your first alone <sighs> mountain hunt. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. going to be cool. We'll yeah, do that's going to be crazy. So that's going to be really yep. cool. Yeah, it is. I'm Are you excited. getting in shape? I have been every day, yes. Oh, lifting, okay. I saw. Lifting, all of Cardio, above, you're doing it all. That's good. We should probably try climbing some mountains around here or something like yeah. that. That's so you're plan. ready for it, start. okay? Yep. Oh, okay. Right. Mm-hmm. I mean, we really should. I mean, we have a couple different peaks yeah. around here we could do it. You don't have to try to. Uh, kill all you ourselves. gotta do is hike no. down low and come back <laughs> yeah. up. Yeah, yeah, just go down the meadow and come back yeah. up yeah. and you'll be ready, but you know. That's true. But to get the actual rock stuff. We got to go. Then I'm going to New Mexico with Top Notch for Elk. Yep. And then after you get back from that, I'll still be in BC, but then you leave for, for Utah. For Utah, for L. We're going to be all KRO. over the country. Yep. All over KRO, North America. And Clinton, Greg, can't wait. We all meet back in, up yep. in after, Wyoming. After you go to Utah, in Wyoming for R&K yep. elk. And then <laughs> well, somebody. But, but we drew Wyoming elk tags yeah. and you guys didn't. No. So I have a New yes. Mexico elk. He has a Utah elk. And 
You I don't have, have a Utah Wyoming. elk, and we both have Wyoming elk. Mm -hmm. And we get our, our elk tags here over the counter. Right, <laughs> right. Yes. right. And yep. then mm -hmm. Aubrey and she drew, shot, or shot, shot, drew mm -hmm. a Wyoming deer tag. Yep. Yeah, I know. So, I'm pretty excited about that. So just a side note here. She has got the horseshoe this year for, oh, drawing, tags, for drawing tags. She also yeah. drew Colorado third season deer. Yep, and cow. Early cow. Yeah. Yeah, and I mean, she's <laughs> crazy. I don't know. I don't know. It's my year. I'm sorry. It's it is you. It is you. It is Don't be year. sorry. I'm excited for you. <laughs> yeah, so we have, we'll be in Wyoming with R and K and Rob and all the guys, Blake and Rick and all them, um, for a bit because mm -hmm. we'll be hunting elk and deer and deer yeah. yep, and crazy. then we leave there and um you head out to new fee with oh, efforts yeah. oh with yeah. rafe with, with rafe. rafe yeah for brownie yep. awesome. that'll be a great moose. trip so you guys are gonna go up to new fee for moose and then and then while you're <laughs> doing that Oh, while well, you're there, Kansas. we drew Kansas tag, yes. so we'll be out there with J&M yes. Whitetails. And Aubrey will be filming you. Yes. And Aubrey will be with me, and Eddie will be, no, Eddie will be Eddie filming you. Eddie will be with me, you. and then we'll have to oh. figure somebody else out for filming there, and it's going to mm. be chaotic, it well, will. as usual. Mm. As usual. Yeah, we're going to have to figure that one out. I forgot I about that. I kind of forgot about that. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so anyways, that, we'll figure that out. <laughs> and then after that, um, we have... We all come home. Illinois. And then we go to Illinois. Yeah. We have Illinois. Back with White Dean. Tails. Back yep. with Dean. Back in our old stomping grounds. Mm -hmm. And then you head to Montana with Case Kemper. Kempfer. and the beards. Yep, going the beards. For, for deer out in Montana. Mm -hmm. Just kind of oh, a guy's trip. A you guys are going to have a blast. And, and then while one you're one doing... That a camera. Yeah. 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 Other than like my very first one that... Yeah. Yep. <laughs> you made, I made you, I yes. made you put the camera down. Which was yes. proper. Which, which was the right thing to yes, do. Yes, absolutely. And then while you're there, Ralph may still stay in Illinois, or he may come home, but Aubrey, Aubrey and I have to head back mm -hmm. here because yeah. she has third season deer here. Oh. So she can hunt it with her bow or her browning. And providing. also, at the same time, she Thank can you. also shoot a cow elk because her Gosh. tag's good during that time. So... At that point in so time, it's going to be like, take your tags with us, whatever shows up, mm -hmm. we're shooting. Mm -hmm. that, that's what I we're looking mean. at there. And if you were able to do it quickly, and if I wasn't able to get my bull, if I decided to whether or not to get a tag during archery season over the mm -hmm. counter, I could actually buy a bull tag third season, but that's a lot to add no. to one week. Yeah. So we yeah, probably won't do that. We probably but won't do that. I'm just saying, you know, know. why, why know. not reach out for the stars? It's Come on, you well. never know. Big dreams, big dreams. Well, we got muzzleloader with our traditions in Kentucky. Right, that's the beginning of December. And then we got in December. Alabama. Alabama with Dr. Chris. But we're not sure if we're doing Alabama before or after Kentucky yet. We're still working mm -hmm. on those states. And Florida. States. And Florida. And then we'll have cow season, I'll have cow season all yeah, December. Yeah, you drew December mm -hmm. cow elk. Woo! Yeah, we didn't, draw, we didn't draw any Colorado tags, Dad and I, mm -hmm. Ralph and I. No Colorado tags. Mm -hmm. But and then it's a going big. full circle, going into next year, we might be doing Florida Again, for deer, might, we're not sure yet. Might, right. And then <laughs> that leads right back into turkey season. I know. After that. Ooh. I know. We might go back That's down to crazy. Texas and do some exotics. So. After. That would be fun. Uh, that was a lot of fun. Aren't we going back with Rach? No. Yeah, next Leaving spring. Valley. Oh. Next spring is, is sta so, but now you're looking 2024. Okay, now okay, this stop, is, this stop, is stop, stop. This stop. is, we're, we're giving y'all it. We're just confusing everyone at this point. <laughs> it's Anyways, there's, there's kind of the lineup for this, this coming fall year. Whatever it might be, um, it's it's a little busy. Yep. Yeah, Here's what I will tell you fun. too. Yeah. You know, a, a lot of a lot of hunters out there, they apply for different western states or yep. other states. You know, to get your get tags. Your tags. Here's here's a great little tip. What you want to do is set plan A, plan B, and plan C. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Because when yeah. you apply, there's going to be times that you won't draw. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So you a might lot. have to gain a mm -hmm. preference point or, or whatever. Have that plan B in effect for like all of a sudden, well, you know, I could go to Colorado because I could buy elk tags over the over counter, the counter. Or, or this or, or Mon, you right. know, what other states allow that to. So now you have plan B and then there's plan C. Plan C is, believe it or not, if you've always talked to a lot of outfitters, you know, go to Dallas Safari Club, go to some of these big, you know, where they have a bunch of the outfitters. And tell them, let these outfitters know that you have availability that you could maybe leave in a 24 or 48 hour notice. Because in a no draw situation. In a no draw situation. 
because you can get some great deals. Right. Because the outfitter has all his expenses already, he or she. You know what I mean? They have the guides. They, they have the have camp. They have a cancellation. They, they have a cancellation else. at the last minute. Let that outfitter know that you have you have that availability. Put me on if that you do, list. Put me on that list, and you can get some smoking deals. Because when, you can have landowner tags. Oh, they or could if have. If you're talking Canada, a lot of it's just allotments. Yes. So mm. it could be totally different, also. So that's just a tip, just that you <laughs> you know always have plan A, B, and C. And it's hard when we're trying to plan those A, B, and Cs, especially when it's time to apply for tags. As you guys know, when we we're trying to apply for like Colorado and then Utah for you and I, because it was a limited draw area, we had to wait five years. So you guys, you're finally going back to KRO, and. I didn't draw, but you did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How that works. But anyways, <laughs> he drew and I didn't, but that's okay. Cause now Utah I'm going to go me. back to top notch with Brian and Christian, because that's where you shot last year. We you got your bowl last year yeah. because they, they actually had someone draw a tag. So they had the landowner tag. So I'm going on the landowner mm -hmm. tag. So I'm going to go New Mexico while you're supposed to be doing in Utah. And then Wyoming was another whole different situation. But when you're trying to line all these tags up, to figure out where you want to go and how you want to do it. Sometimes it can become chaotic. Last year we didn't draw Kansas whitetail tags and this year we did. So that's good because we missed them guys. And get used year. to watching your bank account. You think you're saving money mm. and then you've got to apply for all the tags and it goes from here to there, like really <laughs> low. And then just sometimes you get a little bit of a kickback if you don't do, if you didn't draw. <laughs> yeah, right. But, it never gets back to where you had it there yeah. before you started applying never for started. all of them. But I no, can tell I you why. also, though, seriously, when you go and apply for tags, keep it in your head like you just said, plan A, B, and C, yep. because don't go and apply for the same for tags in different states at the same time, even though you, in case one doesn't Because what if get, you draw them both? Because if you draw them both, the thing is, I mean, some states you can go ahead and give them back, but... Mm -hmm. You know, you could end up messing up all of it. If you had and preference points, you could end up losing them. So, I mean, just keep it. Pay that in close mind. attention, too. You know, you can buy preference points. In some but states. But every yes. time you do this, it costs you money. Yep. You, you know what I mean? Yes. So, so, this is money that's not coming back, but it's also, it, it's get it's that insurance for when you do draw. You, you know what I mean? But, yep. but so, so it's, it's a game that we play. A lot of people play it every year. But now we play it for four instead of just two. And this is like. Aub Aubrey's first year of actually drawing anything. Yeah. I mean, this is yeah, crazy. Yeah, last year I had no luck with anything. No. Like, as no. soon as the... As it was soon... my first year getting put in, I believe. First... No, I think no. we put you in last year, yeah. too, but oh. you didn't get anything okay. last year. And then, yes. like, as we're getting our yeah. tags, as we're getting the draw mm -hmm. results in, I'm like, check your guys' emails. Yeah. Aubrey's like, successful. 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 Yeah. successful. 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 We're like, what the heck, Aubrey? Oh, I my know. gosh. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So, do you got another question? Oh, yeah. It actually kind of leads into what we were just talking about. Oh. How do we do it all? How do how, how do we manage um, to caffeine, stay up with everything? Caffeine, coffee, coffee. Okay, I will finally admit to everybody, I do none of it. Absolutely none of it because she let me do it a few years back, a lot, a long I time know, back. Out it. loud, and I, I screwed up, it. man. I had like it's I the, left oh, I left 24 hours in between trips because hell, I just wanted to keep um, going. Kind of like we have this year between Saskatchewan and Africa. And I didn't oh do my it. Gosh, all. Yeah. We have like, you did we do have it. Like, you did do it. Yes, you did. So you let me do it. You should have learned from before. But because Six hours. That's 26. But, be yeah, but like, because we had a, with Fricky and how he had things set up and we wanted to get there. Otherwise, mm -hmm. I'd be like, no. no. Yeah. But, but we got it. But it's Fricky. Mm -hmm. And yes, it's, I have a shirt and I have a coffee cup. Both of them say chaos coordinator. Fitting. It's my title. It's very mm -hmm. fitting. It's my title. Somehow or another. We, yeah, listen, we don't have, we don't pay people. No, <laughs> we, we don't me. have that. It's, it's me. just us. It's, it's me. Vicky, it's Aubrey, RJ, Eddie, and I, and so, a bunch of our freelance camera guys all trying to help yeah, make Yeah, so when you happen. see like tips and everything being filmed and Tyler. it's always Ralph or, or RJ, you know, it's because usually I'm in the office trying to figure this chaotic life out, but it's good. It's good. Yeah. And I also have to, I'm also the travel agent on top of it. So <laughs> insane asylum. It is. It is, but it works. It does. It does. And honestly, without chaos, I don't know what my life would be. So <laughs> that's very true. It's true. It's there very true. Mm -hmm. Okay. Leading okay. into the next one. Yes. Randy asks, what are your thoughts on the 6.8 Western? Love oh, the oh, 6.8 yes. Western. Me too. We definitely <laughs> love it. I, we are in love with that. Gun. Here's the thing. You can shoot 175 grain bullet. Incredible trajectory, mm -hmm. um, no kick. No. You, 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 you know what I mean? Yes. Um, I mean, just everything. We've shot mule deer, black elk. bear, mm -hmm. elk, 
We have pretty much covered the gamut with that with that caliper. With, with that yes. caliper, yes. yes. And have and had now, tremendous results. And now even for this this fall, we're going to have our suppressors, which with Griffins, just, yeah. just shooting yes. at the at the range, it's even that much better. It's just crazy. Yeah. Even that much better. Yeah, but that six point eight, and I mean we've shot things close, within a hundred yards with a six point mm -hmm. eight, and far yes. over five. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it has done everything that we needed it to yeah. do. In fact, there's quite a few outfitters I think that were surprised by how well. Yeah. That gun works. Well, it's it's a performance-driven caliper. caliper. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and Browning just, man, they hit a grand slam. And they again, did. like you said, it's it's the grain weight in the bullet too that yeah. makes a huge difference yeah. in it. You need that. Well, yeah. we we know you know there was a trend going lighter, quicker, flatter. Right. You, you, you know what I mean? And the and yep. Creedmoor is anything else. And and Browning said, you know what? Let's build one. You know, or let, let let's take one that that can. Do put down all. a bull elk with no issues and, yeah. and, and they did it, it. 6.8 we have definitely done that mm. mm -hmm. all righty let's continue down the list okay Dwayne asked do we still hunt illinois anymore yes of course yes of course, of course, we, course do. we do we yes. couldn't just it's drop in illinois list. absolutely we, we gotta go hold back. on to our whitetails our illinois whitetails <laughs> yep no we actually we still we work with dean up there and <clears throat> oh yeah i mean that's our old stomping grounds we go down there Ralph gets a little irritated once in a while because, like, some of us want to go see family because we're back in the state. Yeah, well, but no, we definitely. It's hunting season. I know. <laughs> but with all my work, I like to take an extra day off while I'm there in Illinois to go mm -hmm. visit, like, my sisters and my dad and stuff like that. So, you yeah. know, you got to do stuff like that, you know. Absolutely. And same thing with you. You got to go see family. Yep. You know. So, it, I know it's hunting season, yes. but, you know, family is important too. You talk to her every day. So what? I don't it's see not her. The same. It's, it's not the same. Absolutely. Not. Then why do they have FaceTime? It's but not it's a touch. Not. You can't you touch. Can't. You can't hug. Exactly. Hug your phone. <gasps> oh my Ew. gosh. Ew. Get sent away from You're that. Weird. <laughs> <laughs> sent away. But yes, we do still do Illinois. Um, and uh, we can't wait to go back. No, yeah. Yeah. we love it. Last, love last it. fall when we were there, though, oh. um, we just the weather didn't cooperate with us, and it was no. like like the rut was almost like all the movement was. I don't know if it was because the moon or what, but uh, we just it we, we just hit it wrong last year. So, but we're ready. We're, we're ready. We're ready. I already got the food oh, yeah. plots going, so we're good. Our it's rackology yes. plots are spectacular this year. They oh, yeah. had moisture. Yep. You know, Dean and the guys got all that in. I mean, so we're. We're pumped. We are. Yeah. And it's looking mm -hmm. beautiful. Beautiful. It it's looking beautiful. Yes. <laughs> All right. Okay. Going down the list again. Richard asks, first deer season stop. First what is deer it? season stop. Deer season. Um, well, that depends because technically <laughs> you have a Wyoming mule deer tag. Oh, yeah. yes, yes, yeah. yes. So it would probably so be you'd Otherwise, be kicking us off. You'd be kicking You'll us, be off, kicking for us deer, off for deer this year. But for white tails, it would be us in Kansas. Shoulders. Yeah. With yep. J&M. Yep. So... Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Cool. And what's kind of cool about your deer tag, though, mm -hmm. is that in Wyoming, the deer tag that you have is a general deer tag, which means you can hunt it during archery or gun season. Right. So we're setting it up so hopefully you can maybe get it with your bow. That'd be cool. But that'd be awesome. If it doesn't happen, then, then that following 6 week, Western. that six point oh, eight yeah. comes out Bada and, bing. and be done with it. Yes, so absolutely. it'll be interesting. I mean, you've shot a mule deer before. Yeah. yeah. With the six point eight, actually. Beginning of this year. Yes. Yeah. But. This Thanks, will be Dr. Little, Tom. Yes. Yep. That Thank was excellent. You so your Colorado, your first buck, period. So now you can maybe try, depending on how everything lays out, maybe try to get one with your bow. Mm -hmm. But if it doesn't work, then I'm happy that brown egg comes right back out. Exactly. That's right. Exactly. It's going to be fun. Yes. No matter yes. what. It will. It always yeah. is. It is. Yes. So we got more questions. Oh, yes. Well, now we, like now we get into the fun ones. ones. Yeah. Now oh, we get funny the ones. ones. Yes. yes. And I, I have an answer for this question, but oh, I have a feeling no. it's not going to go You should have, like, maybe let, let oh. us know ahead of time. <laughs> they, oh, this, so, just, just wait. from Jeremiah, if I bring Portillo's and coffee to your ranch, can I go <laughs> hunting with you guys this fall? <laughs> if you bring Portillo's, I will say yes to nearly anything. I'm just <laughs> yeah, saying. Yeah, it's kind of scary <laughs> and a little weird. Yeah. <laughs> I am, yep. Yeah. Yes. I, um, I will collapse for Portillo's. Just, oh. just and in case you don't know what Portillo's is, let you, letting you guys know, it is a Chicago Old area Chicago Italian Italian beef. Italian beef. Oh. oh, chain restaurant. They now have them in Wisconsin. Well, they Florida, Florida, Arizona. Yeah. Florida, Arizona. Never Arizona. Arizona. In Orlando yeah. or something um, like that. I know yeah. it sounds like we're sponsored by. We're, we're not. not. We're not. I we mean, will we're actually open. Just, Portillo's. Portillo's. If you guys are listening to this. We're open. We're open. Yes. Send us an you email. We're originally Please. from Illinois. Yes. If from you started Illinois, in Villa um, Park. I had know friends about that it. worked at the one in Glendale Heights for crying yeah. out loud. So I mean, exactly. I grew up on. We grew up on Portillo's. Yes. Or if you just want to come down here to like Trinidad, 
Put one yeah. in. Yeah, that sounds like We're not against it. We're not too. against it. Okay, so you're going to go ahead and let, oh. let Jeremiah come in and hunt with you because he's going to bring you <laughs> If he brings pork tail. Yeah. He said coffee, Oh, too. and wait, what's oh, the other, wait, what's the yeah. other one? What's your shake? The chocolate oh, cake. Oh, the chocolate cake. Chocolate cake, cake. Chocolate shake. cake oh. shake. How could you forget that? That's a must Because I tried. It was horrible. You, you didn't it, like it? No, it's too rich. It's like drinking There's fudge. I don't like fudge. Oh, that's good. You could be mad at me. It's I'll make okay. fun of I'm your beer if you pick on me. I'm just, just I'm just disappointed. No. <laughs> oh my gosh. Just, just, just crying a little nice. bit. Yeah, okay. That's the worst. That's the worst. I'm not mad. Just as Here, as here's as how as bad as it is. Well, Time out. This yeah. is how bad it is. This big galook has a Portillo's air freshener I do. in his pickup truck. I do. <laughs> yep. No mm -hmm. shame. And a Portillo's bandana for mm. Captain. Yes. The Portillo's pup. He's the Portillo pup. That's yeah. right. Portillo's mm -hmm. pup. Yeah. <laughs> yes. He loves it too. He's not he supposed does. to have it. He's might have. <laughs> oh, we were gone one time. Oh. We might have gotten into some. Remember? Well, yeah. Oh, yeah. I wasn't very oh, happy. Yeah, 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 I need to throw it. We should definitely in order so some of that. Yeah. We are yeah. rampling on. Okay, would you have another okay. question? Okay, thank you, Jeremiah. Where were we? Now we're hungry. Ken asked, do you have room for one more? One more what? There's, there's you know, we, <laughs> oh, we, we have a lot of people ask. We do. And, and we wish we could take y'all. We really do. And, and we'll do the best we can to bring the best adventures to you. But, um, hell, they're trying to kick me out now. <laughs> I, so I don't know. I mean, Aubrey's the one getting all the damn tags. You know. So, yeah. You know, it is what it is. It is what it I is. I don't make She's the rules, all your so points. Yeah. 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 Yeah, she probably, can you transfer them? Because she probably no, took all ours. you cannot transfer them. Oh, okay, no, I was no, just no. checking. No. No. No, you can't. No. I mean, I guess if you apply as a group, you could, like, combine them all together. Yeah. But that is not yeah. how you got your deer tag. Because I still have preference points in Wyoming for deer. So, you didn't take mine. Yeah, no. And, and here's another thing, is there are a lot of businesses that will apply for you yes you, you, and if you're not familiar with the, how the tag situations work it's a great avenue you know even Bass Pro Cabela they they all have these yep. that you can reach out to them they'll you know they'll ask you what you're looking for yep and they'll help you out figuring it out in the tag situation and how to do it and what to do with it because it's just it's confusing as hell Very. I can tell you that yeah right? so when I'm not here and they have to do it on their own we don't screwed. we're screwed no mm. just saying we have no idea we yeah. try. We end but... up going to Hoppies. Because <laughs> Florida is just a game rich yeah. environment. Yeah. <laughs> We're like, yeah, yeah. what'd There's you guys reason. draw? Hell, Vicky wasn't there. We didn't draw nothing. <laughs> and now you know why I drink so much coffee. Yes. <laughs> oh, yes. That's fair. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Coming Next from question. Lee. Yes, coming from Lee. Can you guys come and pack for me, please? And thank you. <laughs> <laughs> pack for you. Trust me, you don't want us to do that. No, you, we still no, haven't mastered that. Especially well, not me. I always have. Overpack. We've kind of mastered packing. Yeah. I mean, we're getting ready to leave for well, like almost a month. Yeah. And, you know. But do you have any of your clothes packed? I'm starting to, right before oh. you guys called me to come down here. I, I know. Have I situated. Know. Yeah. Oh, Only because you're ready just to go in the like bag. The we, we, we usually wait till like the day before, yeah. but the way the, the situation way is right now with only being home for one day in between these two yeah. hunts. I'm actually going to try to get as much mm. as I can for both done ahead of time. So mm. the day before we leave. <laughs> So, and, and just a segue note for you guys, we have to leave here at like three o'clock in the morning for this flight. So Eddie is behind the camera right now freaking out. So I'm just saying. I'm not going on that trip. No, you can stay home and watch the yes. pups, but I'm gonna wake yeah. You up. So that we're there early so enough <laughs> for our flight to get in and everything. So just giving you guys a heads up. That one's going to be an early one. Yeah, That's so make sure fun. that everything is packed ahead of time because we're not going to so have time that morning. So I shouldn't pack at like 2 o'clock in the morning? No. No. Okay. No. 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 <laughs> no. In knows. fact, Dad already has all the fish and stuff packed yeah, for this trip. That. Our yeah. bows aren't packed yet only because we're, we're still, still shooting. shooting. Right, it's really <laughs> super windy out today, but yeah. we're still shooting, yeah. so we have a couple more days before we leave. But yeah, no, I am working on packing it all before Sunday. There you go. Good. I mean, I got to do house cleaning too on Saturday, yeah. so... I gotta get that all done so that it's not crazy, but that's besides the point. <laughs> I have to destroy the house, so it's okay. He does. He does destroy the house. Yeah. I wash the floor; it's dirty. It, it just happens. Never end. Uh -huh. Okay. Any other questions? And Bob asks, "Will you pick me up on the way?" Well, Bob, are you in Canada? Because that's where we're going first. No. Um, <laughs> we'll have the plane take a little stop. A little stop. Yeah. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Bounce, I don't think Air Canada will do that. Will I, I don't. Gosh. I don't think so. That first trip's Air Canada. Second. Wish we could, United, Bob. So, you know, how about if we just take pictures and post them? 
But that being said, in Saskatchewan, we're not going to have Wi-Fi, so I don't believe yeah. we're going to do anything like that. You probably get all the photos Africa. after we get back. Yeah, yeah. yeah definitely going to get photos mm -hmm. after we get back yes. because it's going to, I don't think, it's going to be hard. In fact, there may not be any coffee posts for the next while. I'm so sorry. Oh, no. Forgive me. No, Aubrey's here. Oh. I mean, there's, yeah. But it's You're, not the same. The not coffee the posts, same. those are... That shit's Originals. Gonna coffee post up to you. I hope not. I really well, hope big that. Shoes to that's some big shoes no, to fill. No, I don't want to get too much. I can... <laughs> no, see, please. I'm begging right, you. So we'll figure this out. <laughs> so, anyways, you may not get a coffee post. Alrighty, well, now that you're taking over the coffee posts, we'll see. <laughs> we'll, it's we'll gonna be see. hashtag Kinda. Aubrey Coffee Takeover. Yes. Okay. Hashtag Aubrey Aubrey Coffee Take. Wow. Oh wow. Yeah, you can Aubrey can you say that Coffee again? Takeover. There we go. Mm -hmm. Yes. Aubrey Coffee. Takeover. Good job. Okay. Good job. All right. Good job. Okay. Good job. I don't know about that, but okay. Fair enough. Okay. All right. And another question. Coming from Sam. Sam. Where are you taking me? <laughs> <laughs> There's kind of like this running. Uh, yeah, yeah they're, all, this. they're all. I see a common denominator going on here. We'd love to take y'all. but Again. <laughs> yes. Yep. <laughs> we'll, we'll take you through the eye of the camera. How's that? There you go. That was a good one. I'm pretty sure yeah, that's not what they wanted, the but okay. No, no, yes. no. no. Mm -mm. <laughs> All right, um, well. Greg asked, you guys want another son? <laughs> <laughs> well, technically we have one, RJ, but now we have RJ and we have Aubrey, a daughter, and we also have Eddie, who we kind of consider our son also. <laughs> so we're already up to three, so it gets a little expensive when we go higher than <laughs> yeah, that, that's right? True. Oh my God. I mean, that I'm just saying. True. It just keeps going up. It just keeps going up, it's you like, know, well, so. Here's what you gotta ask him, do you pay your own way? <laughs> There you go. Right. Where, where is that like age limit? Yeah. yeah. Am I still right. under that age limit? Am I good still? I don't know. <laughs> well, let's think about close. that. That might. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna need to check. Think about that one. I'll, I'll do, I'll, let me get back to you. <laughs> well, good. Alrighty. Well, yeah. that's that's our oh. list of questions that we have sitting here. Okay. okay. But uh, let's ju let's just talk a little bit about our setups this fall. Like okay. Our actual what we're taking. Of course, we we're asked how we think about the six point eight, and we love it. Yeah. And I know I'm taking that to BC. We'll be running around with that one mostly. And Newfie. Right. And Newfie. Yep. Um, this year, I believe you're shooting the Hoyt Eclipse. Yep. Well, here's the thing. <laughs> the okay. you, you know, every, every, people were thinking that Hoyt designed that strictly, for, you know, for like a, a, a lady's bow. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's not. It's, no. it's, short, for, it's a length. short draw yeah. length, you know, with true, you know, upper efficiency. Yeah. Hey, I'm vertically challenged. Always yeah. have been. Yeah. yeah. It's a little but, vertical challenge. So, the thing is, is that with all the different Hoyts that we've shot over the years, yeah. everyone has your, you have your own things that you fall in love with. You know, I mean, mm -hmm. th there's all a bunch of different bow companies out there. You shoot what makes you f shoot well. Whatever feels comfortable in your hand, how it draws back the whole nine yards, you're going to shoot it well. We've I always... love the VDM, VTM. I, I mean, oh, yeah. that thing that's shoots. Right. That's I'm what shooting, you're shooting. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm oh shooting the Torx. Oh my gosh. You're shooting the Torx. You're so, shooting the Torx. Yeah, you're shooting Torx. So anyways, dad's shooting the Eclipse. Yep. For the mm -hmm. shorter draw length, that's what's going to go on with that one. I mean, it'll be fun. Well, what's really cool with that bow is I'm shooting it at 61 pounds. Yeah. Um, 27 inches. <laughs> no, but but it, it's super lightweight. Very, you know, very maneuverable, you know, in the in the bush. Yeah. But but more than anything, I, I want to show people that you don't have to, you know, it doesn't have to be the highest end. Right. You, you know what I mean? You could still yep. shoot a, a great bow at an affordable price and still kick butt, you know, yep. in the in the spring and fall. Right, and you're shooting the VTM? Of course. Oh, right. Love yes, I love the VTM. Oh my gosh. It's mm -hmm. And then we're shooting the Torx, yeah, yep. so, yes. yeah. And there's another one, the Torx, you, you know what I mean? Yep, it's another. Medium piece. line. Yep. Yep. Very but affordable bow. We already know yes. what it can do. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And yeah. then yeah. stuff went down last year with those. Yeah. That's yep. for sure, a lot of stuff. Yeah. So, Hoyt just makes bow for everybody. Mm -hmm. Yep, absolutely. And, and I mean, broadhead-wise, um, a whole different selection this year. Yeah, I'm actually this this so far what I'm gonna be doing is right now My setup is at about 55 pounds yep. 54 pounds 54 55 pounds and instead of shooting my shockwave that I've always shot my mechanical shockwaves um, Because we're going to Africa. I am currently set up with the ignite right ignite four a blade four blade like six with a cut so on contact yep. Yep. right with a great mm -hmm. tip titanium 100 grains with two bleeder blades, and yep. you go, you girls have been shooting it all week again, yep. and they're flying just like your field points. Absolutely. All the way up to 50 yards. Yeah. We saw that. Yeah, because I was and shooting I mean, them yesterday at 50 yards, incredible. and it was all going there. I was shooting, I had three with the broadheads, and I had like seven. Yeah. 
Seven just field the field points. point, the match mm-hmm. grade points, mm-hmm. and they were all right there just at fifty. Yeah, yeah. and I and never and I haven't shot fifty yet with that bow because mm-hmm. I don't yep. normally shoot fifty. Right. Yeah. But we were out there yesterday, and it wasn't super windy or anything. And I'm like, well, I have forty. <laughs> Let me see what if I can. Because I asked, Might as well. I'm, I'm like, how far is that elk? And he's like fifty. And I'm like. Okay. Okay. So I just kind of, you know, with, well, with my Range Rover, I can go ahead and just tweak it. So I mean, yeah. I can see on there, like where my 20, 30, 40, yeah, and how far the gap is. So I just kind of guessed, yeah. yep. and I didn't hardly even have to move it. So I guessed pretty right. And I mean, they were the first two shots were like, okay, let's get your head back in the game, <laughs> right. here, Vic. And then all of a sudden, it just whoop, and it went right to it. And I'm like, Good. okay. And the broadheads yeah. are right there too. So and all of us, you know, I, I was shooting um, FMJs, autumn orange. Yes. Mm-hmm. Now they were four millimeter, but. We all went to the blackout lighted knocks, yes. so we, so we had to shoot. We're shooting the Axis five five millimeters, millimeters so the knocks fit. So you, mm-hmm. all right. three of us are shooting five hundredths. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, RJ, you're shooting three hundred. Yeah. You're shooting three hundredths because we get your bows up at eighty some po- yep. eighty one pounds or whatever. Yep. Yep. You're shooting the kill zone. Yes. Oh yeah. Right. Kill zone. I love. And yeah. what are you shooting for for Africa? The end your buffalo. The end yes. game. Yes. Yep. It's and why did we bleeders. do that? Well. They have a little bit thicker hide. They don't have as, bone structure. As, yeah. Yep. Yep. So with those, with the end game broadheads, I'll have more penetration, which will help me in the long run, especially. Yep. Absolutely. Are you excited? And, oh, oh my gosh! I'm beyond excited. Buffalo? Yes. Oh yeah. And even with that setup, I'm shooting my uh, my FMJs, but they're the dangerous game magnums. Right. And with those, they're a heavier arrow, much heavier arrow. Yep. But that's why I'm just I'm excited. I'm very excited for all of it. So what we're doing for RJ setup. Because he's going for Cape Buffalo, we've got a you know a much heavier spined yes. arrow, um, heavier, much you know increased weight. Increased weight significantly. Yep, FOC a little stronger, and you're shooting the end game, which yep. is a two blade, but with that big tip. Yeah. The titanium. Almost ferrule. like it has two other bleeders. Yeah, it Almost. gives you a little bit yeah. of those bleeder effect. Um, but what we did do, because he still wants to shoot, you know his VTM still at 80 pounds. Yeah. All we did was to put another True Glow fixed pin sight. Yep. You sighted those in with your Axis 300. I love my Axis. Yep. I do. So and now, kill zones. when we're so there, have, yeah. Oh yeah. When the speed, we're there, I have the diameter of cutting. I have everything that I love. Usually, like, the, oh. like I was running last fall, but I also have my setup for my Cape Buffalo because that's a little bit of a different game than. So one bow for all of it, which oh is yeah. pretty cool. Oh yeah. <laughs> that is pretty cool because I know, like, when we went down, when I hunted my buffalo, you had, I had a, two bows. Yep. So did because I. I had to draw the weight back on the one bow that, I mean, I can't normally draw back. What was that? 74? 72 pounds. 72 pounds, which I can't do that all the time. No. There's no way. Yeah. Uh-uh. But I had Only when I get you mad. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then she comes up and just draws my bow back. Yeah. And yeah. I'm like, whoof. <laughs> Watch this. That well, adrenaline always up. helps. Adrenaline always true. helps draw the bow back. But yeah, but that that's pretty cool. I'm, I'm excited about that. That's it's going to be awesome. It is going to be, be awesome. So cool. crazy. You know what else is really cool is that when we're down there, well, besides, you guys both shoot lefty, so you're not going to be able to draw that 80 pound bow. Oh, no. You know, but if something went wrong with his bow, he could shoot yours. Yeah, absolutely. You know? Would you like and me? I guess. Oh. If you really need to. Oh, thank to. you. I appreciate that. And we basically could share the same bow, same yeah. draw length, same arrows, <laughs> same broadheads. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this podcast because it's over. It's really over. I was just saying 27-inch draws. Over. You know, I'm just saying all right. of it. You know, yeah. Whatever. It's, it's convenient. It's convenient. Oh, yeah, it's been very sure. convenient over the mm-hmm. years. You I know? believe that, yes. Mm-hmm. You? <laughs> yep, I'm a loser. No, you're not. <laughs> but it is kind of funny, I'm just saying. Just saying, putting it out there. Okay. So what else you got going on? I guess that's about it. Yeah. Is that it? Yeah, I think that's Honestly. it. I think we'll we'll call it kind of right there. Okay. Sound let, good? let me just, yeah. here, here, here's the big fun thing. We, we talked about so many trips and adventures this year, and we hope everybody has as many opportunities or even more. But the thing is, is one of the things that I think get cut short and that is getting prepared for either your, your, your one trip a year or your multiple trips. Mm-hmm. Don't cut that short. I, I mean, you know, practice with your equipment no yep. matter what it is. Oh, yeah. Put, put the gear on. Get, put the backpack on. Hike. Do whatever. Get prepared for it because that is a huge part of each adventure. You know, we talked about right. going on a bunch of things and we're sort of, you know, shuffling back and forth real quick. But I can tell you this: we, we don't we, we don't shortchange any of that. You, you no. know what I mean? Oh, absolutely. We not. enjoy no. it all we, because that is a start to the adventure. 
and we it want is. you guys especially and Aubrey with you this is a lot all this is new oh yeah is it is you know the, the practicing you yeah. know the tuning in of the broadheads or you know tuning in on the, on the rifles you, you know mm -hmm. I mean all of these things getting your gear putting your clothes on and going oh I don't like this this don't fit or right. yeah. it's noisy yeah. you, you, yeah. you know what well, I mean there's... and we've been practicing sitting down shooting. yes a lot so we haven't been standing we've been sitting down yeah. because yeah. we know standing. what's coming and I have to practice yeah. getting my, my comfy hunting clothes on and then sitting down and not falling asleep yeah and not that's, falling asleep yeah you should practice that and if you're shooting you know we, we actually took the time and we built the, the, you know ah, Vicky and yeah. Aubrey side quivers because they mm -hmm. don't like quivers on their bow right. if you are shooting like RJ's getting his Africa his Cape Buffalo set up these arrows are super heavy <laughs> they are so when you put all them in the quiver mm -hmm. it's a mm -hmm. total yeah. difference yeah. right you're like whoa so, yeah. so so if you're gonna shoot with a quiver on practice with that setup you, you, you know what I mean with yeah. your arrows everything set and in it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. getting out there in the field is not the time no nope. the nope. time is before that's when the adventure starts and get prepared get psyched up and you know find out the ins and the outs of each situation you'll find out that it will make that next adventure pretty awesome yeah absolutely well thank you guys again yeah. thank, thank you, you guys for bringing this on us again well of yeah. course thank you so uh, this at. was uh, Ralph and Vicky, my mom and dad. Um, <laughs> they'll probably be showing back up again next month and every month after. Um, so you better get used to them. <laughs> oh and how these two. How are we going to do this when you're like in a different country and we're somewhere else? Like how are we going to do this? like a FaceTime? From the mountain? Yeah. If you I don't service. think that's going to happen while you're in the middle of northern BC <laughs> hunting mountain goats. That's, that's hey, not and I tell you happen. what, we watched a movie last night about mountain climbing. Mm -hmm. oh. Don't watch it. Not before you go on the mountain. What? XNA on that. Oh, Hell no. no. They're I'm jumping. They're using that. these spots. Okay. That sounds like fun. Don't tell no. them the name. Don't. Yeah. No. Don't. They fell in a big crevice. I need, I yeah. Was it like they almost died. They had in their chest. Yeah, no. It's yeah. Not good. He was no. Good. Yeah, no. It, it's yeah, like no. watching. Okay. It's like Thanks. watching a movie on about plane crashes when you're getting on a plane and going overseas. <laughs> yeah, I've done that. Don't do that either. It's like watching a ghost in the darkness. Yeah. Before right. you go to Africa. Yeah. Oh, right before we go to Africa. I'm going to tell you, though, that's a fun I got I jacked up growing right when I was young. A movie came out called <laughs> Children of the Corn or something like oh, that. Yes. yes. Yeah, I'm watching this, and the next freaking day, I got to walk in a, in a full cornfield at night to get to my tree stand. I was in <laughs> bricks. <laughs> Oh, I don't know if I can say that, but I said it. It's I was. I it's thought this dude, I thought these people were going to jump out and get me. Malachi? I was thinking, yeah, that was his name. <laughs> Holy moly. I wanted to shoot that son of a gun. Oh, really? Oh. I did not like that movie. Uh-uh, at all. Especially when you, and the next morning, there you go. tree stand. You know, you walk into your tree stand and corn. Oh, uh, no. So watch them, pay oh. attention to the movies you're watching before your trips and your adventures. <laughs> Learn it from me. The guy shooting the eclipse right oh. here. Do we need to worry about like the revenant? Oh, Ooh, like grizzly with, the, with the grizzly bear going up to northern Saskatchewan? No, because I love bears. No. What about cocaine bears? Should we worry about that one? <laughs> oh, maybe. <laughs> you never know. You never know. <laughs> that was that a real story? Possible. I mean, that yeah, yeah. But, but they made it. They, 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 but they made it. Long movie. Hollywood, right. Right. It was like it didn't it last like, like yeah, like a minute or something. Yeah, it was one of those, it's, it's one of the ones that start off based off a true story. Based, yeah. based, and off then it goes. Poof. Yeah. yeah. So here's this podcast was based, based off a true story, and it went all every direction you can imagine. Yes. Yeah. You know he's laughing hard when he goes. I know. Yes. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys for watching this episode. We'll see you guys next month on the Choice Podcast. And listening. And listening, yeah. Oh, listening. <laughs> oh yeah. And uh, don't forget to check us out at Ralph and Vicky oh. Oh, on all yeah. social pages. See, I'm all over the place right like, now. Like, subscribe, do the based whole nine yards. Yeah. 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 RJ and Aubrey. Yeah, RJ and Aubrey. Um, yeah, we're a cluster. Yeah, we're we're all over wow. the place. We're okay. sorry if this it's is difficult brand. to listen to. This is very on brand of us. <laughs> yes. Uh, Contentkingmedia.com. If you want to check out kind of an umbrella of all of our stuff, that's our website. But thank you guys for watching, and you'll be able to find this anywhere that you should be able to listen to it. So thank you very much.